Hello, welcome to another week's reading vlog. Apparently I am a fan of vlogging from this weird downwards angle now. This is like the second or third time I've done this recently. Um, but it's just convenient. Eh. Anyway, happy Monday. Uh, last week's vlog is up. I have edited that today and posted it and it's all out in the world. Um, I actually didn't have work today, I booked today and tomorrow off work, um, so today has been a fairly productive day for me. Um, I have filmed two videos, done some artsy stuff, obviously edited and posted that vlog, um, cooked a big old roast dinner, um, and it is now quarter to eight, and I haven't done any reading, but I'm still calling it a success. Me and Jake hung out for a little bit this morning. Um, managed to film those videos etc so I'm still calling it a very productive day um, I got done what I wanted to get done and I still have tomorrow to get done the other thing that I want to get done which is reading this however I am going to start it this evening um, I am actually doing live reading sprints with my patrons starting at 8 so I have 15 minutes to get myself all cozy um, that is the plan, but yeah, I'm gonna start reading Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. I was supposed to start this Sunday and then I ended up doing loads of artsy stuff and then, as I say, today has been productive, but I just haven't started reading yet. Um, and I would like to finish this before I go back to work on Wednesday. That would be ideal, so fingers crossed that I can get a decent dent done tonight with the reading sprints that I'm gonna do with patrons. Um, and anything else tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, I just wanted to start off the vlog, say hello, I hope you had a good week last week, are uh, having a good week this week, or whatever, I hope you're doing good. Um, but yeah, welcome to another vlog. Hello, it's still actually Monday, I look a little bit ridiculous when it looks like I have no hair, but trust me, I do have hair up here, but it's wet from a shower. Um, I say it's still Monday, it's technically half past one Monday morning, which does make it Tuesday. But I just wanted to update you on how much of Door of the Siren Queen I have read. Because I'm on page 195, so I've read nearly 200 pages of this this evening. Um, what time did I stop? About half eleven. So between eight o'clock and half eleven, I read about 200 pages of this, which was brilliant. So my um, patron reading live in read live in reading live read in things um really helped um and i'm hoping that i will be able to finish this off tomorrow but yeah i just wanted to update you because i'm impressed with myself but uh yeah that, that's all there is to it i'm gonna go to bed now um but i will definitely be finishing that tomorrow so fantastic start to the week we we approve of this Hello! I come bearing good news that this early in the week I have finished a book. <laughs> um, it's Tuesday. It's half eight on Tuesday. And I finished the book I started yesterday. That was the plan for today. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a job done. Um, this one was my second chance author thing for TBRPCU. I cannot remember the question exactly, but something along the lines of which author could you give a second chance? So I read the sequel to Daughter of the Pirate King with Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. Wasn't very sure what I would make of it because the first one was, in my opinion, something that I would call a fluffy read with not much substance. It's like my idea of a contemporary something to quickly fly through, bit of a palate cleanser. So I wasn't entirely sure if I would be in the mood for the sequel or if it would be right for me. Um, but I read it, read it very quickly. It was easy to fly through, it was a quick read. Palette cleanser, everything I've just said definitely still stands for the sequel. Yeah, I didn't hate it, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. I had an okay time. There was a lot of the back and forth on the romance and I do feel like how that ended wasn't necessarily <laughs> as satisfying as it could have been, but it is a YA that sticks to YA, um, so, you know, it didn't get as steamy as it had potential to. <laughs> but yeah, it was okay, there were, it was a bit romance heavy, yeah, um, and the back and forth with them was a lot, and the rest of the plot... <laughs> I don't know, like, 
there wasn't I don't know how to explain what I mean by like the romance balance like the romance was very heavy in comparison to the rest of the plot like the rest of the plot kind of felt inconsequential it's kind of what I was expecting from this it is the vibes that this duology gives me is that it is that easy fluffy romancy palette cleanser quick read and it was anyway um corpile corpile is the rating system i use c-a-w-p-i-l-e created by g at book roast because someone's bound to ask if you just search corpile on youtube her video will come up with the spreadsheet that you can download <laughs> um but on corpile i've put this through all of the things that it goes through and it came out at a 6.43 which is a three star it's kind of a decent three star as well like very yeah it, it is what it is very decent three star read not a new favorite probably not one that I would reread either but I am glad that I have read it so it's got that going for it but yeah first book done for the week and it's only Tuesday but you know that is sort of because I've had the last couple of days off work. <laughs> that does mean now that I only have three books left on my TBR Pursuit TBR. No, two books left on my TBR Pursuit TBR. One of those is The Crooked Sixpence by Jennifer Bell, but I want to read that much closer to the date of the Middle Grade Monthly Live Show because it will only take me a couple of days to read that. It's Middle Grade. Um, and then I have, of course, got Mad Ship, but I'm listening to the audiobook and will continue to plod through the audiobook of this on my walks to and from work when I go back to work tomorrow. Um, so there's that. And then I also need to read The Savage Song by Schwab. Reread for me. Love that book. Love that duology very much. But I'm going to be buddy reading that one with Becca probably next week. Which kind of leaves me in a, what do I do? Do I just listen to some of this audiobook now for the rest of this evening? Or do I dig out this that I've been in the middle of for a little while now? Um, it's a collection of short stories. If you don't remember me talking about this in a vlog a few weeks back, A Phoenix First Must Burn is a collection of short stories all about black girl magic. And um, I have enjoyed the stories I've read from this, but because it's a short story collection, I don't find myself going back to it because there's no like intrigue because I like I'm at the start of a new story. I finished the last story. I have really enjoyed all the ones that I have read, but because there's not that like intrigue pulling me back to find out what happens because it's a new story, I keep forgetting that I'm in the middle of it. So Maybe I'll read a short story in this, maybe I'll listen to some of the audiobook of this and do some drawing, that sounds like it could be an idea. Maybe I'll do both of those things, because it is only half eight, so yeah, maybe. Maybe this could be my next plan. But yeah, there we go, that's the update for this Tuesday evening. Um, I will get on with something and you will find out what when I've made my mind up, but um, yeah. One book down. That, that's two. One book down. <laughs> Quick update before I go to bed because I told you I would let you know what I got up to. But I did end up reading a little bit of both of these. Um, I read another couple of chapters of Mad Ship which means I'm now up to page 195 so going fairly well and really really enjoying this one a lot. So uh looking forward to listening to more of that tomorrow because I'm going back to work tomorrow so my walk to and from work will be this one um, and I read one more of the short stories in A Phoenix Must First Burn. First Must Burn, I get that wrong all the time. Um, I read one called Hearts Turn to Ash and I think it's probably my least favourite of the ones I've read so far. It was by Danielle Clayton totally focused on um heartbreak and uh, just not not my cup of tea so much that one but um slowly making progress through that it's the first one out of them that i haven't like enjoyed though so still a good ratio going for this one um but yeah really really enjoying this so uh i've dipped myself into three books today which is uh 
pretty good going for me. <laughs> um, and I did finish up another illustration for my Zib Bottles account. It was the Capricorn one. Ta-da! So I've done Capricorn, done Cancer, and then my first one, which was the Tiger. Um, and yeah, that that's that. I'm going to go to bed because it's half eleven and I do unfortunately have to go back to work tomorrow. So I need some sleep. Hello, happy Wednesday. <laughs> I was going to say Tuesday. It's not, it's Wednesday. Um, first day back at work. I had a pretty pants day. I feel like all I did was mess things up. But regardless, um, it's Wednesday evening. I have not read a single page today. I didn't read on my walk to and from work because I had other things that I needed to be doing, like on my phone, on the phone stuff. So didn't get to listen to any of my audiobook on my walk unfortunately and I haven't read anything so there's that but I do have a fairy loot to unbox so I thought we could do that because that sounds like fun and I feel like I haven't unboxed a fairy loot in ages it can't it realistically cannot have been that long because I get them every month oh knocked the chair that you're balancing on um but yes oh different different stuffing Ooh, ta -da. that's messy stuffing theme something devilish i don't know theme is wicked hearts and i don't want to know what's on the spoiler card right first thing is oh my god i don't like this new stuffing it's going everywhere first thing is pin what is it Oh, it's very pretty. It's from The Young Elites, which I haven't read and don't know. But the pin is gorgeous. It's like a wolf howling. It's my turn to use, my turn to hate. I don't know the quote, but the pin is gorgeous. So another pin for the pin banner. Ah, socks, but they're covered in this fluff. These are going to need washing before I can wear them because they're just covered in bits of hay. What, what looks like hay anyway. Not a fan of the stuffing. But these are vampire hunt socks and it looks like they're the same as the um, Simmer Down kitten socks, which are some of my favourite socks to wear. I love fairy loot socks. They're just really comfortable and they're some of my favourites to wear. So I'm a big fan of the socks. Next is this Kingdom of the Wicked Salt and Pepper Shakers. Please be pretty. Oh, they are pretty. That's nice. Oh, they have the same quote, but a different. This one's got some sort of like moon pattern and this one's got snakes on it. I really like them. Um, however, I like grinders. I don't do like table salt and pepper, but these are cute. Next up is, what is this? Jacks from the Caraval series. Is this a puzzle? This is a puzzle. I'm not going to open this, but it's a puzzle. Um, it's a hundred pieces and it makes the picture of that dude, whoever that dude is. Stickers! Star Wars stickers. Not, not my thing, sadly. Wicked Hearts playing cards. Oh, I do like a pack of playing cards. I have a feeling these are going to be really pretty. Oh, they have like... The shininess of those edges. That is something else. Rainbow, that rainbow! Oh my god, and they're all black with some character art there as well. These feel really nice. I mean, I don't know the characters, but that doesn't detract from the fact that this is a gorgeous deck of cards. Tarot cards, Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords, inspired by House of Earth and Blood. Am I dumb? Maybe. Clearly, don't know who they are. And I think that just leaves the book, but I don't want to take the pouch out of 
the box because I do not want that horrible sawdusty stuff everywhere. I don't mind the purple worms, at least they're just like one thing. This stuff is like fraying. I feel like I've been in a hamster cage. Anyway, the book is very black and it is Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry, M Kerry Maniscalco. Um, I have not read anything from her and I do not know what this is about. Whatever you do, you must never speak to the wicked. If you see them hide, once you've caught a demon prince's attention, he'll stop at nothing to claim you. They are midnight creatures, born of darkness and moonlight, and they seek only to destroy. Oh, I hadn't seen that. That's gorgeous. Ooh, the, the naked dust jacket, naked dust jacket, the naked cover is very pretty. Cool. Uh, that is that box. Of course in the pouch we then also have the little bookmark and character art and a letter. Fairy scoop and next month's theme is enemies to lovers and we also have a deleted chapter. That's interesting. But yeah there we go. That was October's fairy loop. Oh also I'll probably show you more of this tomorrow, but in this envelope are all of my November Patreon stickers, all ready and cut out. I'm waiting for my letter paper to arrive tomorrow, and then I will be writing the letters and packaging the stickers. <laughs> I'm very excited, but uh, yeah, cool. I will chat to you some other point in time. Hello, happy Thursday evening. I am having a horrific time with my skin right now. You probably will have seen it in previous clips, but I just looked at myself in the bathroom mirror and thought, you need to put something on that. So I've done a bit of a like targeted charcoal mask because it's a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, this evening has not gone exactly how I expected it to. It took me about two hours to cook a chicken pie that shouldn't have taken that long. Um, and resealed the edges of my bathtub because the sealant was coming off. So, uh, resealed a bathtub, cooked a chicken pie, <laughs> dealt with this face. Um, anyway, reading update. Mad ship, Robin Hob, focus of the week, really. I am now 279 pages in. I've just got up to summer. And the only opinion that I want to convey right now is if Kyle and Malta could just drop down dead, I would be, like, okay with that. I would be absolutely fine with that. That, that, could, that could make my day. So uh, here, here's to hoping that uh, Kyle and Malta drop down dead at some point. <laughs> Don't see that happening. But... I am really enjoying this. Um, I feel like I've made, you know, decent progress. I'm nearly 300 pages in now and I'm enjoying it very much. Uh, so yeah, there's that. However, right now I am going to pop Aaron's live show back on um, because I was watching it on my phone and then my phone died. So there we go, got that back on. Um, but whilst I'm doing that, I am going to be packaging up my Patreon stickers and writing my letters. And I got an ink pad and a stamp <laughs> of a bumblebee, just because I think it would be cute to stamp them as well. So that's what I'm going to spend some time doing. <laughs> Progress is being made. Look! Look at my little bee stamp. It's so cute. I love it. But um, it's it's now ten to midnight, and I've I've done three. <laughs> it's because I'm writing like full on, like a full on letter. So uh, yeah, three down. A few more to go. <laughs> um, but it's great. I love it, and I'm loving writing them because it's like a way to be able to like properly thank the people that are part of my Patreon. It's awesome. And um, the stickers are all here. 
Anyway, yeah, um, I'm going to go to bed and probably do the rest of them tomorrow. But um, I just wanted to show off how adorable I think the bee stamp is. <laughs> Saturday. Um, I don't know where my phone is, so I have no idea what time it is, but it's Saturday. Um, I have a few things to chat to you about before I get settled in for reading. The first of those things is my reading. Um, my plan for the rest of today, I said I don't know what the time is, it's if I don't have a clock up there. Uh, it's quarter four. I've done pretty much nothing all day. Um, that's not entirely true. I've planned a video. It hasn't taken me until quarter four. Anyway, the plan for the day is to finish this, A Phoenix First Must Burn, um, edited by Patrice Caldwell. It's the book of short stories that I've been reading for ages. I'm about halfway through, um, but my problem with this is that because it's short stories, I read one, I put it down, I forget about it. So uh, the plan is to read these. Might have a little break between them, but the plan mostly is just to try and finish this today. Um, I'm on page 181 of 340, so what's that? I don't know, less than 200 pages. <laughs> Hopefully I can get through this. Uh, secondly, I got an Amazon parcel this morning and I had no idea what it was so I opened it and it turned out to be a gift. So sorry that I didn't open it on camera, but I, I was just too confused. <laughs> so um, I got Blood and Honey by Shelby McHuron. And this was a gift from Barbara. Let me just pull the gift note out because I've stuck it in there. Here we go. Gift from Barbara. Uh, just a little thank you for all the great reads you've given to me. I hope you enjoy the book. It's nice to be able to send you a little something. Love from Barbara. And honestly, Barbara, thank you so much. You absolutely did not have to, but I really appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to getting into this at some point. I liked Serpent and Dove. I didn't love it, like love it, love it, but I definitely didn't hate it. Um, and I do want to read the sequel. Um, and yeah, it's a really pretty book. I'm excited about it. Thank you so much, Barbara. I will stick the gift note back in there because as always, I leave the gift notes in the books that are gifted to me. So thank you so much, Barbara. I am very, very grateful. Next. Uh, Molly from Mind of Molly sent me a little prezi yesterday, so thank you so much, Molly. Um, and obviously I have opened it, I opened it yesterday. But she sent me her bookmarks from her Etsy shop, so I'm going to link Molly's Etsy shop down below for you to go and peruse. This is the backs, by the way. Um, but she sent me, I'm pretty sure, her entire collection. Um, so, Mind of Molly, <laughs> and let's go through these. We have the Evelyn Hugo one, which says, Don't ignore half of me so you can put me in a box, and of course has the iconic green dress on Miss Evelyn. We then have this one. I don't know if this is inspired by something um, like the illustration or if it's just a pretty lady. Um, the paradox of education is precisely this, that as one begins to become conscious, one begins to examine the society in which he is being educated. And then in this one, we have a Michelle Obama quote here. You don't have to be somebody different to be important. You're important in your own right. This beautiful one. And then we have her ninth house set so we have Alex from Ninth House then we have Doors from Ninth House 
and we have Darlington from Ninth House and I love the colouring on these ones and I, I just think they're really really pretty and I liked Ninth House a lot so big fan of these ones specifically the Alex one I think is my face. Um, and then we have one that I think is inspired by Wilder Girls and I love the colours on this. The like yellow pink cloudy thing going on. But yeah I think that's Wilder Girls inspired. And then we have one inspired by It which again is very pretty. I'm not a horror fan. I've never watched It or read It or anything. I don't like spooky things. <laughs> Um, but it's a very pretty illustration. And then finally, I think this one is inspired by my best friend's exorcism. Maybe. I could be wrong on that one. But that one too. And yeah, thank you very, very much, Molly, for sending me all of these. You are very, very kind. And uh, yeah. I will leave her Etsy shop linked down below for you to peruse at your leisure. And next, I have made a weird tea. I don't like weird tea, ever. Um, however, I found a pouch from a fairy loot that I hadn't tried or thrown out <laughs> or given on to someone else and thought, you know what, before I put this in the bin, because I don't like weird tea, I'm going to try it just to see if maybe my taste buds have changed but it weirds me out that it's tea with no milk for one and it doesn't smell I mean it smells nice as a fragrance but it doesn't smell like I want to put it in my mouth do you know what I mean? still not for me I still don't like weird tea That's awful. I'm gonna try it again, but it's awful. <laughs> I don't like it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, so there's that for your viewing <coughs> entertainment. <coughs> Good job I have a can of monster here. Ew. Tastes like flowers. I don't want to eat flowers, ever. Mm, no, okay. Let's put that to one side. Let's throw that in the bin. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Saturday night and I did it. I finished the book that I wanted to set out to finish today. That I set out to finish today. I can't speak. Um, I did some reading sprints on YouTube with Molly from Mind of Molly and she finished Prayer of the Orange Tree. She read the whole thing in under 24 hours because she's insane. Um, and here I am, proud of myself, for finally finishing the second half of Phoenix First Must Burn. Um, so yeah, short stories. I've mentioned already how short stories aren't usually my thing and the reason that this has taken me so long to get through is because I read one of the short stories, I put it down and then I don't pick it back up again because I'm not in the middle of something and when I'm not in the middle of something like there's no intrigue to get me back to it. Um, so I really needed the push to be like, right, okay, read another short story because the short stories themselves I'm enjoying. It's just the fact that I finished a story. So I need to start a new story. So I put this down and work on another like full book anyway. Um, I think the ones that I read in the first half I liked better than the second half ones. It's no secret that romance isn't a big thing for me. And despite the fact that all of these stories were something fantastical, either sci-fi or fantasy, there was a lot of romance focus as well, which I'm not a massive fan of. But I did really enjoy a good portion of these. Um, there was only like two or three that I was really like, mm, about... Um, and then a few that I really loved, and then some that I just thought were really good. Um, but yeah, I I have had a good time with this all round. I don't know if it will come out at maybe a high three. I don't know how to corpi all this, so maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go in with... Let's see. Which ones did I like and which ones did I not? 
Oh, the Goddess Provides. I think that was probably my favourite one. The Hearts Turn to Ash, I wasn't a fan of. Letting the Right One In, I wasn't a fan of. Tender Headed, mm. The Actress, mm -mm. The Witch's Skin was good. Sequence was eh. All the Time in the World was pretty good, I like that one. So yeah, it's probably on the good side, but not great. So three star, like high three star is where I'm going with this, I think. I liked it a lot. If, like, I almost want to rate all the stories individually, but I didn't do that as I was going along, so it's difficult. But yeah, the first half I liked better than the second half, for sure. Um, so yeah, high three stars. I'm going with it, that's what I'm saying. But I would recommend it, like, if you're a fan of short stories, I would definitely recommend it. If you're not a fan of short stories, I mean, I would still recommend it because I'm not and I liked it, but I did need to force myself to actually pick it up. But that's no fault of the book. That's just a consequence of it being a short story. Um, so, yeah, good stuff. Also, a lot of the romances in here actually were um, female, female romances as well. So. There was a fair bit of that in there, which we love to see. But yeah, now I don't think I'm going to start anything else tonight because it is now midnight. Um, I have not read any of Ship of Mad... not Ship of Magic, bloody hell, Mad Ship. I have not read any of Mad Ship today, um, but you know, it's a Saturday, I wouldn't think so. And tomorrow I think I might try and read The Crooked Sixpence, but we will see. So far this week's been a good reading week, so even if I read nothing tomorrow, I'll still be happy. Hello, happy Sunday. It's ten past seven. Um, I thought I had vlogged today, but now don't think I have. My plan when I got up this morning was to get all the housework I needed to do done, do the laundry, etc. And then try and read the entirety of The Crooked Sixpence. I have read not a single goddamn page. <laughs> did get all the laundry done, did get all the housework done, edited and uploaded and scheduled a video, so that's good. And um, then I spent my day writing out all of my Patreon letters and packing up all of the stickers for all of my patrons that get stickers. So uh, that's then what I spent my day doing. All good fun. <laughs> I'm still waiting on a few addresses so I'm not totally done with those but I'm glad that I've got most of them done. It took some time, obviously. They're all handwritten letters and packaging and stickers in there as well. Um, but it's exciting. Um, so the plan instead now is dinner's in the oven. I'm joining Molly's live stream at eight um, for her reading sprints that she does and I'm gonna start this but I am absolutely never gonna finish it so I will be carrying this through into the week with me which is fine. Um, of course, I'm still listening to the audiobook of Mad Ship, but that's my walk to and from work book, so don't need to worry about physically reading that. Um, so yeah, we'll be physically reading this one into next week. We'll see how much I get read tonight, but it isn't going to be all of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, there's my update. Um, I don't really have anything else to report. Nothing... Nothing else has gone on. I've spent most of my day writing letters. So, yeah, cool. Um, I will check in with you a bit later on to let you know how I do with this and what it's about and stuff, because I don't really know. Um, welcome to a world where nothing is quite as it seems. Um, isn't that the beginning of Wizards of Waverly Place? <laughs> Um, Ivy and Seb stumble across something uncommon. That's it, a feather scratching an ominous message onto their grandma's kitchen wall. Extraordinary world, yeah. But it's the middle grade monthly book for November and our live show for this one is on the 28th at 9pm. So 
I'm looking forward to diving into it. Illustrated by Carl James Mountford, so I think I'm going to love it. Uh, yeah, cool. And written by Jennifer Bell, so I think I'm going to love it. I've read Wonderscape by her, which I really liked. Um, so the Carl James Mountford Jennifer Bell combo mm, should be good. <laughs> Hello, it is midnight on Sunday night. I did the live sprints with Molly Anko. Why am I singing? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I made progress in the Crooked Sixpence, as expected. I, of course, did not finish this. That would have been insane. But I did get over 100 pages into it, so that's something. I'm up to page 109, so I'm not even at the end of a chapter, because that's just where the sprint ended but I'm only one page off so I might just finish that chapter and get to page 100 and nah, two pages isn't it well, a page and a bit so I'll end the day on page 111 so uh yeah not not mad about that I'm enjoying this now I know what this is about this is about Ivy and Seb who are two siblings um who it seems live mostly with their grandmother whilst their parents are away at work. Um, her grandmother has an accident and they have to take her to the hospital. And then when they go back to their grandmother's house, the whole place has been like ransacked. And they see a black feather scratching an ominous warning into the wall that says something like, we can see you now. Um, and then they are kind of thrust into this magical underground world of... Londonor, where things are uncommon and if they're uncommon they have some sort of like magical attribute so for example a colander is also an air purifier and a suitcase is like a traveling suitcase and hoovers can fly if they're uncommon common hoovers still exist but uncommon hoovers can fly <laughs> so it's a bit wild, a bit wacky, but um, immediately Ivy's brother has been arrested and it seems like it's going to be her, her trying to get him back and figure out how this happens and what this has got to do with her grandmother and how they're roped into this uncommon world and why her grandmother's house was ransacked like that. Seems like that's going to be where it's going. So, uh yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot so far, um, and I look forward to reading more of it throughout the week. But that does bring this vlog to an end, so I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up, chat to me down below. Um, emoji of the video. Buildings. I'm pretty sure there are some building emojis. Let's have them. Buildings. If you don't have anything necessarily to say, just drop me a building emoji. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go to bed. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh.